We started this project in 2014 after having gone through a tender process based on a design and build format uh, where we selected six contractors with their various design teams to provide designs for us. Somewhere in the middle of 2012, our company, Craig Construction Limited, was approached by the Enterprise Group for proposal for a multi-story building in the rich ambassadorial estates. We had to go through several stages of submissions and proposal from the concept design stage through to scheme design down to the construction stage. We came up with an initial design which was a rectangular in shape. But after our initial presentations, the client didn't think the rectangular shape was iconic enough. So we went back and uh, reviewed the design a few times and then came up with a curvilinear form. This design the client liked very much. Right from the moment that a Ghanaian owned company was announced to be the winner of the design competition, there was a sense of excitement. But with this excitement also came pressure and a sense of responsibility because then we'd have to, you know, as it were, go beyond ourselves and deliver a project which would be comparable to that done by any multinational construction company in Ghana. What Enterprise Properties decided to do following the instruction from EGL was to ensure that one created an asset which would be of an iconic nature such that we would be able to attract very good corporate clients in terms of tenants to occupy. After two RFPs, we came out with a 14-storey office block and a multi-storey car park attached to it. Our idea was actually to add value to the brand of the client in their objective of developing a property that actually points to them as being the leader in the industry. The thoroughbred horse, that is the emblem of the client, is noted for its power, its agility, and its spirit. Our idea was to get a tower that kind of evokes that sense within anybody who looks at the building. EPL had a project support team, which was led by Ralph Sutherland and his company, ably assisted by others like Peter Ampofo and Furimante and Mr. Eja. I must say that, you know, Crane did apply themselves very well to ensure that our requirements are actually met. So we looked at some of the boldness and the vibrance that we could associate with Ghanaian visual art that we somehow never find translated into architecture. The distinctive element that is artistic in nature, that is the kente that is on the north on the southern end of the block. It's functionally a screen, and yet it is aesthetically Ghanaian. By the end of the project, a close relationship had been formed between the clients and the contractors and the consultants, and this helped the natural flow of the construction. The whole project is about 12,000 square meters in size. We chose materials that are lasting, especially on the facades. Some have self-cleaning properties so that you do not have to paint over them regularly. It all goes to enhance the performance of the building. We are very, very particular about security and its implications. It is important that at all times we ensure that such key features are performing at the highest level. In Advantage Place, we got Pulse Fitness. We help you understand why you gotta be fit. We help you to know your physical literacy. So as you work out, we explain to you the benefits of fitness. And that will help you be sharper at your work and also help you have a healthy lifestyle. The building senses the presence of people and turns on light when there needs to be light. So it's a positive indication on energy savings. So tenants that will be in this building 
would have that advantage also. Enterprise Group decided that we needed to have a real estate company to ensure that our land banks that we had at the time were turned into investable assets. We've proven that we're able to carry out projects of this nature and we're able to do it to a quality which is comparable to that done by any of our multinational contemporaries. I can see the real estate part of enterprise group being enterprise properties expanding and expanding rapidly. This test bed has actually given us the confidence that we can actually go ahead and create more. We look forward to doing similar buildings for the enterprise group and we hope that our next building for them would even be more iconic than this one. So here we are at the unveiling of the Advantage Place, a project which has taken us near four years to finish. It's a wonderful edifice. Uh, I invite you to come walk about um, but more importantly, I invite you to make Advantage Place your home. You have the facilities that you need to run a modern and very efficient business. And we look forward to as many of you becoming our tenants as possible.